نحمده و نصلي على رسوله الكريم اما بعد رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي يا رب صل وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم my respected elders young brothers my friends and my mothers and sisters on tuesday we have dars e bukhari sharif at the moment the hadith which we are explaining in this dars on tuesday it is a quite lengthy hadith and it is known as the hadith hariqala hariqala he was the emperor of rome the roman king emperor to whom our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wrote a letter of invitation to islam when this letter reached heracle he made investigation and eventually the arabs were called in the royal court and abu sufyan was was selected to answer his questions after making the full investigation he said the letter should be brought in the royal court here i want to see and he came to the conclusion that this letter which has come to me it is not an ordinary letter the demand of this letter is that it should be read and heard ثم دعا بكتاب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم then he asked for the letter to be brought in the royal court الذي بعث به دحية الى عظيم بصرى now our prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم you should remember whenever he wrote a letter to the, the kings Dihya Al Kalbi radiyallahu ta'ala and who was the one who was selected for this mission for this task and he would go and deliver the letters to the kings now a question is amongst all the sahaba kiram why did he select Dihya Al Kalbi radiyallahu ta'ala and who you know he went to different places and took the letter of prophet letters of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he delivered to the 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 kings but why did he only select dihya qalbi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu for this task and not other sahaba ikram the reason behind this and the hikmah behind this was dihya qalbi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu was a very handsome young man and once i mentioned i mentioned the previous that that the even when jibril alayhi salatu salam used to come when he used to come he would come in the form of the hayya qalbi and i think why because he was very handsome and the malaika the angels they love and they like those people who are handsome and pretty and beautiful so therefore he used to come in the form of dihya qalbi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu dihya qalbi radiyallahu ta'ala anhu he participated in all the battles with rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam except ghazwa badr and he lived till the khilafa of hadrat muawiya radiyallahu ta'ala anhu now he, prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in those days never they would send letters to the kings directly it would go through the governors or any other official you know, officials 
They wouldn't go directly to the kings. So here, our Prophet Sallallahu did not send the Hiyya Kalbi directly to the emperor, but he sent him to the governor of Busra. Busra, it is a city, it is a town in Syria. And our Prophet Sallallahu before he became Prophet, he made two journeys to Busra. Before he became Prophet, our Prophet Sallallahu made two journeys to Syria. Once, the first journey was when he turned 12. When our Prophet Sallallahu was 12 years old, his uncle Abu Talib, when he decided to go to Syria for a trade and the, all the other chiefs were leaving the caravan of the, the chiefs of Makkah were leaving, Abu Talib also decided to go. And in the beginning, he did not want to take Prophet along with him because he knew that it is very difficult for a small, for this boy of 12 years old to take this long journey. But when he was leaving, he, he discovered, he looked at the Prophet from face and he saw the sorrow. And he said, no, 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 I can't leave him here behind. I have to take him with me. When they reached to Busra and they wanted to make a stay there for a night and then move on in the morning, this is the very place where in our Prophet Sallallahu and all the other people were met by a, a priest, a monk, who, whose name was Jaris and he, he was known as uh, um, Bahira. When he, before they used to, you know, before the, these, the Arabs, they used to go and they used to pass by from here, Never he would pay attention to the people, never he would look at them. But at this moment and at this occasion, when this caravan stopped there, and he, before let alone coming and meeting the people, the travelers, he would not even look at them. But this time, not only looking at them, he came out of his house and he started staring at everyone. And then when he, when his gaze fell on Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, who is he? They pointed at Abu Talib that he is his nephew. And then, then he said, huwa huwa, wa huwa nabiyun, wa akhirul anbiya. He said, yes, he is the Nabi. Not only Nabi, he is the final Nabi. He is the last prophet. They said, on what basis you are making this claim? He said, you know what? When you people were coming towards me, I saw each and every tree <coughs> making sajda to him, meaning bowing before him. And the trees, they would never bow before anyone except the prophet. Then, you know what he said to Abu Talib? Abu Talib, he said, remember, don't take your nephew wherever you're going. Don't take him to the, the Syria. He said, why? He said, the, the Romans, they know the signs of the last prophet from the Taurat and Injil, and they will kill him. While he was talking to them, they saw seven men coming towards them. And when he asked them, why are you here? They said, they said we are hunting for the last prophet because we have read in the books that the last prophet will be making, he will be traveling in this month. And we have sent our men everywhere to look for this man. And we want to kill him. So the Bahira, the monkey said to them, you tell me one thing. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a decree, if Allah subhanahu has decided to do something, is there anything that can prevent it happening? They said, no. He said, if this is the case, then if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as you are saying, it is mentioned in your books, that this last prophet will be traveling 
and you have decided to kill, do you think you can kill him? If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decided to make him a prophet, they said no. Then, then they said you should change your mind. And it is mentioned those very seven men who were searching for Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they said now we have changed our mind now, we will, we will, we will stay with you. And they became his, you know, his students and they stayed there. And this was the first journey. So this was in Busra. The second journey Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made when he was 25 years old. Hadrat Khadija radiallahu ta'ala anha was a very wealthy woman. And she would send her trade goods with some reliable people and he would she would make them the her partners in profit mudaraba meaning that you take my goods and you sell them whatever the profit will be and we will share it so she said to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam she sent a message now when he became 25 years old in each in every home and household there was a talk about prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam his 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 truthfulness that you know this muhammad young man very he is very honest man trustworthy man a truthful man and everyone were talking about prophet sallallahu being a honest man trustworthy man khadija radiallahu ta'ala and has sent a message to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam normally i send people and make them my partners and and i give them the we share in the prophet now if you take my uh, my goods and sell it i will give you the double so Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam considering upon the situation of himself and his, his, his uncle Abu Talib you know, financially were very weak, he accepted the offer. And she sent along with him her slave Maisara. Again when they reached here to Busra, they met another monk, Nastura. And when he also saw Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he straight to be recognized that this is not an ordinary man. He is the young man who has been mentioned in our books. So this is the place where in our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was met twice by two monks and who predicted that you will be the Prophet. And he, Nasura, you know what he, he, he said, when as soon as he saw Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Hada Sayyidul Alameen. وَرَسُولُ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ يَبْعَثُهُ اللَّهُ رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ This young man, he will be the chief of the whole world and he will be the messenger of the one who is the lord of the whole worlds. And Allah Almighty will send him as the rahmat of the, for the whole world. So, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sent the letter to the governor of Busra through Dehya Kalbi radiallahu ta'ala anhu and the letter when the letter was read when he when he passed on the letter to Prophet sallallahu to sorry to the, the Herakul because he thought no, this letter I must read this letter this letter is not an ordinary letter I must read it so it is mentioned here that the letter was delivered by the Hekalbi radiallahu ta'ala anhu to the governor of the Busra and he forwarded to the king. And he, he, he asked that the letter should be brought in the royal court and this letter is worth of reading. So he, either he read it himself because the letter was in Arabic. Now one thing before I move on, who, who related all this Abu Sufyan when he became Muslim, then he related all this incident. Now, Abu Sufyan when the letter was opened and the letter was read, Abu Sufyan who never ever read the letter or looked in the letter, he only heard it. Look at the sharp memory of Hazrat Sufyan who it is mentioned later on when the letter was discovered 
not even he missed even a wow even one letter you know he related as he heard it just imagine allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know how much allah blessed the arabs you know with this you know with, with the sharp memory so it is mentioned here فَدَفَهُ إِلَى حِرِقْ فَقَرَهُ فَإِذَا فِيهِ Now the letter was forwarded to create Hirik and now the, the letter was read بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ Our Prophet ﷺ wrote a letter and the letter begins with بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ So what we learn from here the lesson we learn from here whenever we write a letter we should write it with بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ Number two, it is mentioned, Min Muhammadin Abdullahi wa Rasulihi. Our Prophet Sallallahu begins the letter with his own name. That this letter is from Muhammad, who is slave of Allah and messenger of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It is mentioned when the, when here he, he said, Ila Adimi Rum. Our Prophet ﷺ did not say this letter is to the king of the Rome. But he said this letter is to the prominent person of Rome. It is mentioned the emperor's nephew. While the letter was in the hands of the emperor Hirikla, his, his nephew became very annoyed. And he snatched the letter from his hands. And he said, this letter should not be read here. How disrespectful this man is. That in the, a letter he addressed you by saying, Adimiru, and he did not say uh, the king of the Rome. He did not say this. So therefore, you know, this letter is not worth of reading. Now, this Herakl, he was a very intelligent person. He said, you know what he said to him? He said, your opinion is a very weak opinion. He said to his nephew, this letter will be read. And what you are saying, your opinion is very weak. He said, do you think, what do you think? Do you think that I will, I will throw this letter away and before reading it and before knowing what is in the letter? And I remember one thing, I remember one thing, if this man, if he is really a prophet of Allah, then he deserves to write his own name. And if he wrote in the letter to me, uh, you know, addressing me by saying, in a Adimi room, then remember, Maliki, Allahu Maliki wa Malikuhu. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he is my owner and he is his owner. If he said to me, Adim Rum, the prominent person, you know, he was a prominent person, personality in the in the Rome. So he said, if he really said this, then he, he has the right to say all this. Now what we learn from here, that when we write a letter to someone, we should always begin with Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. And we should write our own name in the beginning. This is the Sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And number two, when we write a letter to someone, the person with his name, you know, we, sh you know, if he is a prominent person, you know, he is well known person, we should even write a title as well, as Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam wrote a title. Now the question is, why did Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam not write the Malik Rome, the King of Rome, Roman King? Why did he not write this? The reason is the real king is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For this very reason, Rasulullah did not write the king. So then the letter was read in the royal court. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I mean, the time doesn't allow me, I won't, I don't want to keep it very long. So inshallah, in our next uh, uh, gathering, we will carry on from there where the letter is read. And what our Prophet sallallahu alaihi said in the letter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, my respected brothers, we should make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us a true love for Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Just as a reminder, just to remind you my respected young brothers, 
uh, with the by the instruction of Maulana Bilal Daman Barakatu Mualia. Now he is uh, he is our uh, Ustad in Muhtaram and also he is our now our Sheikh as well, our Mushir as well. We you know he he told me that he especially said to me you should start a majlis of Dru Sharif in your masjid on Thursday. And uh, you know, he said, Inshallah, this will be very, this majlis of um, <clears throat> Dwishri will be very beneficial and very, Inshallah, it will be very blessed in masjid, majlis and gathering. I remember, in order to gain the name of Prophet, the easiest way is to send salutation of Prophet and to follow his sunnahs. And our Prophet he says, on the day of judgment, the one who sends abundantly salutation on me, on the day of judgment, he'll be he will be very close to me. So inshallah, you know, we've started this majlis on Thursday after Isha prayer in the masjid here. In last Thursday we've started and we asked everyone, we will have this majlis for five, ten minutes. And we asked everyone to send 300 times. And we were 21 people here. And this makes 6,300 times the Rushrif. Just imagine in 10 minutes, 5 minutes, we send salutation. They say when the salutation is sent in a group, you know, when people sit in a majlis of group, in one majlis, in, in, in a form of a group, and when they send the salutation of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when this salutation reaches to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then it reaches to, uh, on behalf of that very group. And then each, every person's name is mentioned, that they have sent, you know, 6,000, you know, Mullah Bilal, you know, they, they set up a group. Last, uh, two weeks ago, they said, our group sent, how many times? Four million. You know, in a you know in a week, you know, people sent the Dru shifts to Murana Abdurrahim and they said every individual says I have read so many times the Dru People say one hundred thousand times. So four in a week they sent four million Dru Sharif, the gift of Dru to Prophet. So you know, inshallah, we're going to do this now Masjid here as well. You know, the every week we come here. So as much as you know, the more people will come. The more group, the more you know, we will send salutation to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this Drushri will reach to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and how lucky we will be that our names will be mentioned along with our parents. It will be said, the angels, they say, O Prophet of Allah, so and so, who is son of so and so, has sent salutation, has sent gift to you. Just imagine how blessed those parents are that whose children are sending Drushri to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and their names are being mentioned. You know, we send the salutation to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our parents' names are mentioned to Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So I humbly, if you, if you, if you are going to go to Marcus, can I just make this clear to you? You know, those who would like to go to Marcus, please, you know, do not stop, go to Marcus. You know, this majlis is only for those who cannot go for some reasons to Marcus. If they're not going to go to Marcus, then, you know, you should sit in this majlis. You know, let me just make it clear to you, if you, for some reason, you can't go, and then we will say to you, rather than be sitting at home, just come and sit in the majlis, or you should go to Marcus as well. Now, this majlis is not to stop you from majlis, from Marcus. Keep this in your mind at all. You know, let, you know, because the shaitan comes in all the time. Oh, look, you know, this, you know, this, you know, other, Musa, other, other Yusuf, you know what he said? He said, my brothers would not like, you know, this. They would have done all this to me. What happened is shaitan who caused all this. So, you know, within the community, with a, uh, ourselves shaitan causes all this fitness you know puts you know these you know ill feelings for one another in our minds and then we start hating one another and we start thinking of you know evil thoughts coming in our mind so keep one thing in your mind this majlis is online not at all to stop you from going to markers this majlis is only for those brothers who for some reason cannot go on thursday markers we ask them you're going to sit at home uh, you know we never requested at all keep one thing i never requested I told to Mullah Bilal sir, that I want to do this and he said, yeah, go ahead. Never ever. He, I don't know, I was sitting there, he said, you start this majlis in your masjid. I didn't even talk to him, I didn't say anything to him, he said, you start this in your majlis. So, so therefore we started. I, I, will, I will humbly ask you, please go to Marcus if you want to go. If you know for some reason, then you're going to be at home. Come read Salat Isha with congregation and join us in this majlis of Dhu Sharif.
Bella Spahan of Hotel, like a beautiful one of myself, and Bella Spahan Hotel, except our garden here. Allah from Masali Allah Sayyidina, O Mola Muhammad in Walali, he was happy who barik was selling, Rabbi of Fair Kubarham won the Kairu Rahimin, Rabbana Atina Fidunia Hassana to Mokila Kerati Hassana to Mokina Dabana, Allah from Rabbana to Kobal Mina in the Kampus of Mulali to Bali in the Kantu to Wabu Rahim, was sell the Lahu to Allah Kerikalki, Muhammad in Walali, he was happy at the mind, Birahmati Kayah Rahim.